just said that rap and we're back. This is Love 225. Today we are joined by some special guests. That was a preview of their documentary. We have Matt Key, CEO of Leverage Films, and legendary, absolutely legendary, iconic Baton Rouge rapper, Max Manelli. Gentlemen, thank y'all so much for joining us at Love 225 today. So that was a small taste, okay? We'll have the full preview, the full trailer of Diamonds in the Dirt on our Love 225 website on WBRZ.com. But first, Matt, Tell me, why make a documentary about hip-hop in Baton Rouge? Um, well, in a past life, I come, I have a music background, and um, it's basically, um, like I said, just something that uh, I've kind of lived. It's my, been my entire life. So um, I started this project actually years ago. Um, and with the flood, lost a bunch of footage and stuff, and uh, kind of was a little discouraged, but then I decided to pick it up. I called Max to get an interview from him. He's like, well, I'm, I'm doing a similar project. So within like 24 hours, he said, let's do it together. So, you know, we've been friends for 20 plus years. So, you know, it was an easy, to, uh, easy decision. So it was just natural to do it. And then Max, for you, obviously you're well known for your own artistry in Baton Rouge. Right. Why do you think it's important to highlight, you know, other artists that have also come out of Baton Rouge and to tell a complete story, to paint a complete picture of hip hop music in the city? Uh, I mean, because like we got some of the biggest artists in the world right now, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, like you say, is me being an artist over the past 20 years or so, I, I noticed that we don't get the recognition that we supposed to get as a city. So it was really important for me to, you know, try to tell the, the history. You know, there's a lot of people who laid the foundation that don't get, you know, the credit they deserve. And so, you know, that was my, that was my uh, mentality behind wanting to just put everything out so people could understand you know, the history and to where we are now. So tell me, how does it feel knowing that you've been like a, one of the pioneers in this area as far as, you know, continuing the hip hop movement in Baton right. Rouge? And now, you know, one of the biggest artists in hip hop, NBA young boy from Baton Rouge. Right, right. And we can literally just list off yeah. a whole long list of producers, rappers, right, right. Um, managers, even like Trillian T. So many right. people from right here in Baton Rouge that have made a huge impact on the global hip hop community. How does that make you feel knowing you've been a part of that story? Man, I feel good. It makes me feel good. And especially knowing that, um, you know, like when I first started, when I was, you know, a little youngster, <laughs> uh, it wasn't no, really no rap game in BR. You know, it wasn't a, so we kind of like pioneered, you know, along with a few other people that, you know, they had Nero before us and Silky Slim, Kaiba, people like that, which we all cover in the documentary. But, you know, um, yeah, it's, a, it's like, you know, we blazed the trail. You know what I'm saying? We made a way where there was no way and you know basically created something that wasn't there before and was able to pass it down to what it is now you know i love that concept i'm constantly talking to our team about that you know there was nothing here right. and we conceptually created that's something the, and now we've made it we've put it there that's, that's amazing. my favorite thing like being a creator is like being able to just pull something out the thin air that wasn't there before and then you turn it into something tangible like that's the you know the thing that gives me the most fulfillment so, I love that. Yeah. And Matt, you know, um, part one already out, part mm -hmm. two coming soon, but there's some yeah. other steps in between now and part two, right? Talk to me about it. Yeah, well, we, like I said, uh, part one we put out in 2022. We have also uh, Diamonds in the Dirt recap, which is coming out at the end of this month, and it's basically behind the scenes of the making of part one. And it, we have, um, it's hosted by um, cool DJ Super Mike. Uh, you know, it's a sit down with him and Max, and we show some like unreleased footage. Uh, behind the scenes, um, extended segments, and like I said, that'll be on uh, Tubi TV, Prime, Apple, Google, all your platforms. I'm gonna let you slide between and say it right. It's cool, DJ oh, Super Mike. Okay, we gotta make yeah, sure we get that yeah. in. And yeah. when can people expect part two? When what is gonna be in part two? What can we expect? Okay, part two is gonna be at the end of this year, and um, part one basically covered from 1985 to 2000. And then part two is going to cover everything that happened from 2000 to 2010. So kind of everybody who came up in that decade is going to be on part two. Okay, well, we are excited to see it. We started with the original history and the establishing of the hip hop community in Baton Rouge. And we're going to get right on into the modern era. Gentlemen, thank y'all so much for joining us with this preview of Diamonds in the Dirt. 